On October 14, a recon plane returns with the first hard photographic evidence indicating the presence of Soviet offensive missiles in Cuba. While searching the photography in Cuba, we discovered these are surface-to-air missile sites. Now, they could fire from the ground and strike a U-2. Color photography was employed with great success over these locations in Cuba. And it was obvious from the way they were deploying them that it was going to be a barrier defense, that they didn't want any airplane coming into the Cuban airspace. One of the reasons that we incorrectly estimated that they probably would not put the missiles in Cuba is that they had a record of being fairly cautious in offensive actions. They would uh, try to advance their position, but if they ran into uh, unexpected uh, opposition and difficulty and so on, uh, then they would desist. There's a part in the picture, several parts actually, where we enter the West Wing. It's not through the ceremonial north entrances. We have a huge crane shot that shows the mansion, which is the White House as we know it, and then it, it comes down and settles on the west entrance. So it shows people where this is. The only part of this image that's real is this little facade here.